Greetings, incredible educational applications of technology students. Welcome to module week three of our course, which is entitled Incorporating Digital Tools and Resources to Enhance Learning Experiences. Let's begin by exploring the learning resources available within module week three. This week, you will become acquainted with a variety of digital tools and resources that actually serve to enhance learning experiences within educational settings. You will also create a database featuring a variety of digital tools and resources before selecting one digital tool or resource to more fully explore. Ultimately, you will create a tutorial designed to teach others about the uses and applications of the chosen digital tool or resource. Please be certain to read chapter three of our course text this week, as well as to explore the journal article, websites, and videos provided for you. This week, you will also engage with discussion board forum two, which is entitled considering key findings from research regarding authentic assessment. Through this discussion board forum, you will have the opportunity to share your insights regarding effective assess assessment measures involving digital resources, as well as to learn from colleagues' perspectives and experiences. After you have taken time to review the learning resources provided for this week, please reflect upon and share your answers to the following questions. One, based upon your review of this week's learning resources, as well as your own academic and professional experiences, how do traditional assessment methods, such as quizzes and exams, compare to authentic assessment methods in terms of their impacts on student engagement and motivation? Based upon your review of this week's learning resources, as well as your own academic and professional experiences, how do traditional assessment methods, such as quizzes and exams, compare to authentic assessment methods in terms of their impacts on student preparation for the future? And finally, question three, how do educational applications of technology support effective assessment design and implementation? Your initial thread is due by 11.59 p.m. on Thursday of module week three. After submitting your initial thread, you'll want to reply to at least two classmates. And for your replies, you'll want to incorporate the three CQ model. This includes three C's, which is a compliment, comment, and connection, as well as one question. In each reply to your classmates, please include these four components. Your replies are due by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday of module week three. This week, you will also create a presentation that differentiates between learning from technology versus learning with technology. Many of today's current and future educators are under the assumption that proficient technology integration involves utilizing a digital tool or resource for example, PowerPoint or learning management system to teach new concepts. Additionally, many educators view technology integration for students as opportunities to replace a worksheet or a quiz or an exam with a technology game or a technology tool. While these tools are not without value in educational settings, their use represents examples of students learning from technology versus learning with technology. Rather than students learning from digital tools and resources, truly meaningful technology integration allows students to create, collaborate, communicate, think critically, and grow in character and citizenship with their use of technology. Tools such as Storybird, Padlet, and Flip enable students to create new learning experiences rather than simply consuming more information. The goal for us as educators in the digital age is to help students transition from being consumers of information to creators of new learning experiences. For this particular assignment, you will create a presentation overviewing the difference between learning from and learning with technology. There is no required slide count for this presentation, but 
each of the questions listed here should be thoroughly answered. Please be certain to provide answers to all of these questions as well as a reference page in your presentation that cites the resources in which you found the answers to these questions. Please ensure that your reference page is formatted using current APA format. Through your presentation, you'll want to, again, address these questions, but before you begin addressing the questions, please review these resources. These are excellent resources that will help you to better differentiate between learning from technology and learning with technology in educational settings. Once you've reviewed these resources, and based upon your experiences as an educator, please answer these questions. What does it mean for teachers and their students to learn from technology? You'll want to provide examples in your presentation of this method of technology integration in classroom settings. Next, what does it mean for teachers and their students to learn with technology? Again, please provide examples of this method of technology integration in classroom settings. Next, how do these two methods of technology integration compare? Next, why is learning with technology the more beneficial method for today's students? And finally, how might you convince fellow educators to intentionally focus on incorporating increased opportunities for learning with technology in their teaching practices? You may use any presentation tool of your choice, including Google Slides, Prezi, or any other online presentation tool. And you'll want to submit your assignment, which is the presentation you have created by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday of module week three. I would encourage you to, as you are creating this presentation, think of your audience of fellow educators and how this presentation might benefit them in learning about the difference between learning from technology and learning with technology and thinking through how each of these methods of technology integration ultimately impacts students within learning environments. You never know, you might be asked to share a presentation like this at a faculty meeting at your school, or if you are currently an educational leader within your school or district setting, you might want to share this as a professional development opportunity for the teachers you lead. You might even think about sharing a presentation, such as the presentation you're creating for this week's assignment at a professional conference, benefiting hundreds, potentially, of educators through what you have to say about the difference between learning from technology versus learning with technology, as well as the research you've discovered on this topic. As always, please don't hesitate to reach out with questions or concerns regarding this assignment or any other aspects of this week of our course. It will be a joy and a blessing to see you online this week. Thank you for your dedication to excellence through each and every step of the way. 